Director Murray Morrison uses a fiber optic scope lit by a strobe light to examine a patient's vocal folds. Since speech forms our central line of connection to other humans, it's crucial to keep the vocal apparatus in healthy condition. When something goes wrong with the sound starter, the vital connection to others is broken, and for many, the experience can be devastating. This patient has a cancerous tumor on his vocal folds, and Dr. Morrison is examining its size. Smoking is a major cause of such tumors, and the most common symptom is persistent hoarseness, a condition people often ignore for far too long. Yet early diagnosis is critical in such cases. This man's tumor has been caught in time, and he is undergoing a course of radiation treatments. When detected in the early stages, at least 90% of such cancers can be cured with radiotherapy. Once the cancer spreads, radical surgery is often the only answer. This means complete removal of the larynx. Put your finger on your neck around where it's been vibrating so you can feel it, since it's kind of hard to To lose right the now. voice box is a deeply Rather distressing experience. Patch up. Good try, you got some voice on up. This patient Patch has up. just started working with the speech pathologist to try Good to produce try a new again. esophageal voice. Okay, let the breath out and hold it out and then use your mouth. Say, tay pa. It's a difficult method, which many are unable to master. Good. Patch it. This plastic tube is part of a new surgical technique that is extending voice restoration to greater numbers of people. It's inserted through the throat and channels air for speaking directly from the lungs. This valve fits over the permanent opening in the patient's neck created by the laryngectomy. Now I'm just going to pop the valve into the housing unit. Rather than breathing through the nose and mouth, the patient now breathes through this new airway to the lungs. Take a breath in, Marion, and say ah. An increase in exhalation causes the valve to divert air to the throat for speaking. But Marion prefers to control the airflow with her finger. Oh, you can speak right away with this. You talk just like you always did, except that you learn to control your finger. Because I speak on the exhalation, and uh, you have to get a little uh, strength in your lungs. Electronic devices are often used as temporary measures while voice restoration continues. The Cooper Rand generates a tone which is transmitted into the mouth via a plastic tube. We went to the restaurant to have some dinner. We went to the restaurant to have some dinner. How long did it take you? With an artificial sound starter, the vocal tract once again resumes its function as a resonating chamber. The electronic larynx is another sound source that works on a similar principle, except that it is held against the neck. It's the uh, vibrations from this device that, that I am uh, able to transfer the vibrations into what you hear now is my voice. It's uh, not as good as the original one I had, but uh, it does me very well. And uh, combined with lip reading, which my wife is very good at, and uh, and motions, which we all use. I managed to get along very well. Letting the pitch rise, and then letting it... Over time, some managed to master the esophageal voice. Uh. Terrific. Ah. Uh. Good, we went up and down. We want to have some of that component in your speaking... The most voice. powerful motivating force in getting the voice back is the need to communicate and make the connection with others again. Right. First thing, as soon as I got my voice, I went on the phone and I said hello. And uh, my, my niece was very, well, they all cried. And I cried too. It took me two months mm -hmm. to get my voice 
think I went to group. From beginning to end. From beginning to end. Until and you were to, talking on the phone. And I went to Cheney with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was talking on the phone. And ever since when I started talking on the phone, you couldn't stop me from talking. I kept on talking, talking, talking. You like to talk. I love it. A speech drill at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts. Let's go mama la papa la mama la papa la mama la papa la mama la papa la. Exercising two things. First of all, the nasal, with the passage of breath through here, so we have the head resonance here. And also the bilabial plosive, the pa. Mama la papa la, mama la papa la. Okay, be energetic about it. Mama la papa la, mama la papa la, mama la papa la, mama la papa la, mama la papa la. Good. Students of the conservatory are training to become professional performers who will depend on their voices for their livelihood. <laughs> All right, let's go. Can okay, you say twin? All right, go. Lalani, 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 Lalani. Much better than you did before, Rick. Lalani, Lalani, Lalani. Eh, you get messed up. All right, concentrate on those aspirated sounds. All right, let's go back to the mama la papa la mama la papa la. Break it down, just fine down. Using the vocal anatomy efficiently is really a matter of the whole body. Chronic tensions in the muscles result in a constricted voice, so deep relaxation exercises form an important part of the training. Oh, oh. And then take it to center again. Let it down, let it go down, let it go down. Good. Then take it to the left. Okay, we'll start by... The Denver Center is unique for blending a performing arts center and school with a voice research lab. Fiber optic technology has revolutionized this field of research. The larynx is a muscle, and like any other muscle, it can be damaged through misuse. And let's have you breathe through your nose now. Fine, your larynx is coming into view. The otolaryngologist evaluates the larynx's functioning under different conditions and tries to assess its most efficient configuration. Now let's refocus that. Now give me a big cough. <coughs> now whistle for me. Again. Younger than springtime, are you softer than stars? Different aspects of the vocal folds activity can be monitored externally. This collar device, an electroglottograph, makes measurements through the use of a small electrical current. The waveform signal on the oscilloscope informs the researcher about the differences in the stress being exerted on the vocal folds. Both light and heavy voices are tried. Softer than starlight are you. Dr. Ron.